Welcome to my channel. My whole goal for this channel is to help you build a wardrobe and a style that you love. So you look beautiful, you feel confident every single day. Every single day. So speaking of every single day, a daily item for many of us in most of our wardrobes is a pair of jeans. It's a go-to for a lot of women. It's something that's a, you know a wardrobe basic, staple, especially in the US, but really all over the world. And it's something that is definitely part of my 12-piece wardrobe from scratch. I'm gonna link that video at the end of this video but um, jeans are hard they're hard jeans are hard to find I'm 5'2 I have long relatively long legs a shorter torso whatever your body description is or whatever your body type is I know the jeans can be hard it can be hard to find a flattering pair of jeans it can be hard to find that perfect pair of jeans right and so um, one of my suggestions is always to go to a place like Nordstrom or a place that has free shipping and free returns Amazon Order several and try them on in the comfort of your own home. Give yourself time to try them on, feel, get, get a feel for them and decide what works for you and what works for your body. I'm going to have some guidelines here for you based on body type. Now, if you are not, if you have not signed up for my body type video series and you don't know your body type in my system, I would definitely recommend um, doing that. It's absolutely free. I'm going to pop up the link here. It's just netamanly.com slash body type and it will walk you through a process where you can get your body type or types if you you are a hybrid which many women are and it will really help you decide what silhouettes to go for when you're looking at the stores like what like how to narrow it down I'm not dogmatic about it where you can't wear X if you have this body type. It really just gives you more information so that you can make the choices that are going to make you look and feel your best in your clothes. Okay, so we're gonna launch into jeans. We're gonna talk about some denim trends and then how they relate to the different body types. Okay, the first denim trend I wanna talk about is one that I'm probably the most excited about out of all of these, and this is the trouser jean. Now, I, I wanna step back for a minute by saying, to say that brands will call jeans whatever they wanna call them. It's all marketing. It's all marketing. It's not based on any kind of reality, and it's not based on whether the jeans are actually going to be flattering on you. It just isn't. That's just not the way that works. I, I wish that they would just name a jean what it is, just like I wish they would call a midi a maxi or a maxi a midi, but they don't do that. So what are our options? Our options are to look at the details and make that determination for ourselves. So sometimes they'll call it a boot cut and it's not. Sometimes they'll call it a, a flare and it's not. They just name it whatever they want to name it. So we're going to look at the details that make a trouser a trouser. Okay, so trouser jeans are like trouser pants but they're made out of denim so it looks like a dressy pair of jeans sort of but it is basically the same as a dress pair of pants made out of a denim material usually a more fluid and more drapey denim material and it's going to have pant details in it often as opposed to jean details so you're talking about like back welt pockets you're talking about patch pockets you're talking about maybe a built-in belt you know detail maybe pleats um, or some kind of tapered fit, something that makes it fit more like a pant and less like a jean. These are a great option for, um, you know, casual Fridays or jean Fridays at the office. These are a great, like, dress-up denim option, and I love them. Um, like I said, they're generally kind of soft and worn-in feeling in the material, so that's a really, really nice detail. Um, and you're going to see the same detail that you look for on pants you're going to see in these jeans. So these are flattering, in my opinion, for all body types. Red, orange, green, blue, yellow, or purple. Um, all of those body types are going to be flattered by a trouser jean, depending, of course, on the rise and the details. My you know, overall theme for everything that I talk about with body type is if you don't want someone to, if you don't want to draw someone's attention to a specific area, don't put a detail there. So for example, if you have um, curvier hips and you want to downplay them, don't put a patch pocket or a cargo pocket, for example, um, on your hips because that's going to accentuate them and it's going to draw the eye there. So it's like that with all of these details. You want to look at where the details are placed on the, on the item and you want to look at the fit. Everything else taken into consideration though, trouser pants are and trouser jeans are really a very flattering choice for most women. Okay, the first pair of trouser jeans I wanna talk about are these Turner wide leg trouser jeans from Affirm. They are under $100, they're about $80. Um, this is a classic trouser jean. It's high-waisted, it looks like a pant, but it's got, you know, like a drapey leg. 
Um, it's very similar to a wide leg jean, just the details are a little bit different. The fabric is a little bit different. It looks, like I said, looks a little bit more like a pants. Another great trouser jean option. I'm going to try to give you high, medium, and low for some of these styles. Um, this one is from Citizens of Humanity. This is the higher end, so the firm was at the $80 mark. These are upwards of $250, but this is a classic trouser jean. Notice the pleat detail, notice the kind of drapey fabric, notice the belt detail. These are a trouser jean from Citizens of Humanity, so if that's something you're interested in, that's a nice pick. Um, here's another one from Banana Republic. This is their um, puddle, they call it the puddle trouser jean. So this is a combination of the trouser jean and then the, the baggy, baggy jean trend. But this has this, the trouser styling at the top um, with a little bit of a baggy jean influence. So a trouser jean, and there are many others that are in this catalog, is really going to be, um, especially one maybe like that, a firm, if you find that style, that's a very high waist, so you want to keep that in mind, but um, if you find that style flattering or interesting and you're interested in trying a trouser jean, I think there's some, there's a style out there for every woman in trouser jeans. Okay, let's move on to the next category. This is my other favorite category. I'm going to have a couple of favorite categories here. This is the wide cut jean, the wide leg jean. I love wide leg jeans, and again, I, I, spoiler alert, this is very similar to the trouser jean in terms of flattery. I think that they are flattering on most women. They're flattering on most women. What you want with a wide leg jean or a wide leg pant, this is the key, this is the key, this is the key. It's so important when it comes to flattery. It needs to fit your hips and waist well. If your waist is not cinched in and defined in a wide leg jean, you're going to look boxy. It's going to look baggy. It's going to be unflattering. Just had someone post a picture in one of my uh, Facebook groups about that. And they said, oh, I don't like the way wide je leg jeans look on me. And I saw the picture and I said, it's because they're too big on you. They're too big. They're not fitting you well in the hips, bum, and waist, especially the waist. That waist has to be defined with a wide leg jean. Okay, rant over. So provided they fit you well through the hips and waist, and they don't have any weird details on them that make them unflattering, like maybe a pocket where you don't want a pocket or whatever. Um, wide leg jeans can be very, very flattering for a wide variety of women. So I'm gonna show you a couple of styles here. This first pair is from Wit and Wisdom. They're under $100. These are the Absolution jeans. These are exclusive to Nordstrom. They call it indigo, but it really looks like black, but this is a great flattering mid-width wide leg jean that I think is really, really nice. I also really love this J. Crew one. You know the denim on denim thing is absolutely happening, and I think those are absolutely beautiful. That's a great wide leg jean option. And then this last one, this is the Hustler denim, uh, the Hustler jean from Mother. Mother is one of my favorite denim brands. If you want to know what's happening in denim trends, I've talked about this before, look at the brands like Mother, Frame, The Row, Citizens of Humanity. They're the ones that are doing like the really contemporary um, denim. Even Zara has, Zara has versions of all of those styles and you're going to see some in this, in this uh, video. But the Hustler jeans from Mother, they, they are just the most flattering wide leg jeans. I think they are a really, really nice pick, but they are a premium pick. So you've got um, lower with the Wit and Wisdom pair, medium with the J. Crew pair, and then higher price with the Mother pair and the Wide Leg jeans. So those are my two favorite silhouettes. Now let's go on to the next silhouette, and that's baggy jeans. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on baggy jeans here because I can't confidently and comfortably and in good conscience recommend baggy jeans to you. I can't recommend baggy jeans to you because what are baggy jeans? Baggy jeans are the opposite of what I told you to do with wide leg jeans. They're wide leg jeans with no flattery in the hips or the waist or the bum. So it's just baggy all over. So it's wide all over and there's a lot of extra volume and there's a lot of puddling and there's a lot of like you know, hems dragging on the ground, um, bums disappearing, curves disappearing. It's a very hard look to wear. That said, it's very trendy and very cool. You know, I did that video on cool girl, and if I was gonna put my cool girl hat on right now, I would tell you these are cool, these are cool. So if you've got the personal style to wear these, if you are like, oh my gosh, I really like those, I really like this, I really wanna try them, I will definitely be trying on some of these styles so you guys can get, kind of get an idea of what they look like on a person who's not tall at 5'2". Um, it's gonna be comical, but um, they're just, they can be very overwhelming. Again. If you like them, go for it. Like try them, try them on. You never know until you try them on. I think that they are really pretty hard to wear. Okay, so I'm gonna show you a couple of baggy ones and you know, they're baggy, they're baggy. And you know, you so see you're gonna want to approach kind of with caution. You're gonna wanna approach some of these with caution. This is the baggy 
boyfriend. I think this is from ASOS. So I'm going to put this up so you can kind of see what a baggy boyfriend would look like if you had a baggy boyfriend. Um, this pair from also from ASOS. Um, this is styled well. And of course, the way the model is, is, is wearing them and everything, that's just kind of a cool way to, to style baggy jeans. Um, and I would say that one looks like it fits a little bit better through the waist. Again, you can't always go by what they're calling the pants. You have to look at them. Um, baggy jeans are going to be baggy all over and they're designed to be baggy all over. This pair from Topshop, um, you can see it's got puddling. It does, it's not. It's not offering real shape through the bum or the hips. Um, and you know, often they look like they're almost not paper bag jeans, but like they're kind of cinched in at the waist to keep them up. But there's not really any waist definition. So those are baggy jeans. Those are a couple of different options. Topshop, um, ASOS. Um, I think the other one was maybe H and M. I don't know, but I'll have all of these linked below. Approach at your own risk. That's my feeling about baggy jeans. Just approach at your own risk and if they work for you i want to know about it i want to know how you style them how, how you wear them i'm going to try them myself stay tuned okay straight leg jeans now i baggy jeans i said we're not really flattering on most mostly anybody if you're going to wear a baggy jean i will just say that this you probably are going to be a blue or a purple body type those are probably the body types that are going to wear the baggy jeans the best now, let's move on to the straight leg jeans. Straight leg jeans have been having a minute for a while, but they're never going out of style. Straight leg jeans, in my opinion, also work on a lot of different body types, but they work best on orange and green body types. They work best on orange and green body types because a straight leg jean is going to have a straight line from the hip to the hem, and that's going to balance the lower half of your body where you've got curve and make you look overall more proportional, which is really, that's, that's the goal of body type flattery. If you don't want to look more proportional, you want to accentuate certain curves, then a straight leg jean is probably not going to be your best bet. But um, for an orange and green body type, a straight leg jean is the go-to. The rest of us can wear them too. We just need to style them a little differently. And I will say, I have a couple straight leg jeans. I love them. I know that they are not my best silhouette. They really work best on the orange and green body types. The rest of us, there are other body types that, I mean, other silhouettes that are going to work a little bit better. So straight leg jean is straight right so it falls in a straight line from the hip to the hem um, again they can call them whatever they want sometimes they look more straight than others and i'm going to show you a couple of examples of straight leg jeans that i think are really really nice so um this straight this is the levi's rib cage this is like the, uh, one of the gold standards of of straight leg jeans everybody loves these jeans they're very very flattering they're very um uh, iconic levi's 501 jeans are also a straight leg jean that everybody loves and you can always if you want to go for a, a baggy fit in a silhouette that you're more comfortable with you can always size up or you know a couple of sizes i i did that in a pair of mother jeans that i have and it's worked well so you can always size up if you want a slightly baggy fit but these um uh, rib cage jeans from uh levi's are really really good um these are um straight leg jeans from is this zara yes these are zara straight leg jeans um I think this is a great straight leg jean. It's a very simple, clean line. It's a nice medium to darker wash, which is a great choice for fall. And I think that's just a great option if you're looking for a straight leg jean. Um, now, a slim straight, which is the new skinny. Slim straight is the new skinny. So are, are skinnies completely out? You can wear what you want. I will say that skinnies are probably not flattering on most body types, and they're definitely not as flattering on orange and green body types. So for orange and green ladies, the straight is your skinny. For the rest of us, if you want to try the iconic straight, which really is never going to go out of style, I would say a, a slim straight is going to be a really good bet for you. So this is a slim straight. This is from AG. Um, I think it's called the, the Sage Jean, and this is a lovely slim, slim straight option for, um, for those of us who maybe straight is not our best option. Okay, now let's talk about cargo jeans. Cargo jeans are another trend that is having a moment, and I kind of put them in the same category as baggy jeans, like just approach at your own risk. They're going to be kind of hard to wear, but they're also really, really cool. So are they going to work for you? I don't know. You're going to want to give it a try and see. Um, with cargo jeans, I would say like a, a blue, a yellow, or a purple body type are the ones that are going to find a cargo jean to be the most flattering, similar to the baggy jean. Because if you have a strong upper body, 
you can handle having more volume and more movement on your lower body. And so, um, you know, those of you with stronger shoulders or with, you know, narrow hips, slim legs, um, maybe a little bit broader at the top or even proportional at the top, not a lot of waist definition probably, you are probably going to find a cargo jean a lot more wearable than some of the rest of us. So I'm gonna show you a couple of cargo jeans. Um, there are some fun, fancy ones and there are some, um, you know, I have one for every price point here. So this first one is from Alice and Olivia. This is a high-end one, it's almost $400. Notice it's got the two different tones of denim. That's a huge thing that's happening, a really, really big trend. And um, I I think it's, it's really cool. If I was gonna get a cargo jean, I would get the Alice and Olivia ones because I love that brand and I think everything they do ends up looking really, really cool on. Um, another cargo, this one is from PacSun. This is under, you know, $60, $70. PacSun is a teen brand, but they have, you know, just like Abercrombie, they have things that the rest of us can wear, even if you're not a teenager. I often find myself with time to kill in those stores, and I'm like, oh, those are kind of cool. So those are a couple of cargo style uh, pants if you're looking for cargo style jeans. Again, they're absolutely having a moment. So if you're interested in cargos, definitely check them out this season. Um, I like a cargo with a little bit more of a flowy fabric and not a stiff fabric. I have cargos from Lily Silk and Silk, of course, that I love. Um, but just beware of the stiff fabric in cargo. I think it's going to make them a little bit harder to wear. Okay, so I've talked about cargo jeans and baggy jeans and trouser jeans and straight leg jeans. What about jeans for the red and purple body types, the red and, you know, the, the proportional body types? Uh, red and blue especially are often flattered by a jean with a little bit of volume at the, at the hem. And so that is a boot cut or a flare or a bell bottom and they are very trendy this year and I'm absolutely here for them. I'm super, super excited that flares and boot, uh, boot cuts and bell bottoms are very much trending because it means that they're easy to find. Now, why is a boot cut or bootleg really flattering to a proportional body type of body type red? Um, a body type red, body type purple have an hourglass body type. That means it goes in at the waist and um, out at so th the waist is defined and the shoulders and hips are the same. So that's a, a traditional hourglass balanced and proportional shoulders and hips with a defined waist. So when you're looking at the leg silhouette of a boot cut or a flare pants, it's mimicking the, the silhouette of your body and it, it becomes really, really flattering. My favorite and most flattering as a, as a red body type pair of jeans is my Page Laurel Canyon. I just spotted these on, I think the Revolve site and I'm now eyeing these because I love this wash. The only thing I don't love about my Laurel Canyons is they're distressed and, um, and I just don't love the wash as much these days. So this would be a great replacement for that. But the Page Laurel Canyon is a really fabulous higher end um, denim pick for those of us with red and um, more proportional body types, red, blue, purple body types. Okay, now for um, a, a lower price option, the Everlane, Everlane has their high rise flare. That is a really nice, moderately priced, moderately styled um, flare style. So you can go as, as dramatic as you want with the bell bottom, with the flare, um, with the boot cut, or you can go a little bit more subtle, but it, when it echoes your body silhouette like that, it's going to be really, really flattering. Zara also has a great pair of high-waisted flares that are beautiful and under $50. So you're going to see one everywhere. Old Navy has them. Every, everybody has them. And like I said, the thing, about, the thing about denim, first of all, is you only need to spend as much as you need to spend to get a great fit. As long as you get a great fit, you can buy them at Old Navy. You can buy them from Mother. It really comes down to how it fits and how it flatters your body. Um, and then it, it comes down to flattery. So whether something is trending or not trending is less important than how it looks on you and how you feel in it and whether or not you love it, whether or not you love it. You have to love your jeans. You've got to feel great in your jeans. Um, and then, you know, my guidance is always to take pictures of yourself in your different combinations so that you can train your eye to see what works best for you and what maybe isn't your best option. Okay, so now we're gonna look at some remaining denim trends. You know, it's not just about jeans. Like if you like denim, there are a lot of other ways to wear it. I used to have a ton of denim shoes and denim boots are a big thing. Um, I used to have a pair of denim shoes from Fendi with like like em embellishments on it that was really, really cool. It was a pair of square toed mules. I wonder if I still have those somewhere with a pink heel. I have a pair of denim pumps with like a wine colored, uh, 
pointy toe like patent leather tip that was really cool I, I some of these might be in my archives um but you know denim shoes denim boots denim bags denim accessories of all sorts like i feel like i haven't seen this much denim on denim on denim in a very very long time we're also seeing denim sets like two-piece sets denim suits suiting and denim um but for the purposes of this video, I'm just gonna go into two trends that I think are gonna be the most wearable through fall. So one of them is the denim jacket. And so if you've always been like, I don't like a denim jacket, it's boxy, it's uncomfortable. It's There are so many variations on a denim jacket right now, so just throw what you know about a denim jacket out the window and maybe consider one of these newer styles. I love, love, love this one from Draper James. It's their field jacket in denim. I think it is super, super cool. Um, this is a very inexpensive, it's like a shacket, but really any, like thicker denim shirt worn unbuttoned would have the, the effect of this as a, as a jacket. It could be a layering piece like that. If you feel, still feel like denim might be too boxy, try just unbuttoning your denim shirt and wearing it that way. Put on a shirt underneath it, but you know what I mean. Um, if you want something really funky, Zara has a denim bomber and it's two tones of denim, which is another big kind of micro trend, big micro trend um, that's happening right now. Um, Gap has um, this cool denim blazer. I'm kind of obsessed with denim and leather blazers right now. I think they're very cool. Like we've been wearing moto jackets and regular denim jackets for a really long time. Denim blazer and a leather blazer like that to me is fabulousness and just a, a different way to wear denim. Um, Gap also has this cool kind of utility style jacket similar to the Draper James jacket, which I love, I love. So lots of options for denim jackets and for doing denim on denim on denim on denim as much or as little as you want. Okay, last thing I wanna talk about, it is the elephant in the room. I cannot not talk about denim skirts. They've been trending for a while. I've been slow. I've been late to the party. I just have not loved them for the most part. And I find them really, some of them really, really hard to wear. So this is my guidance on this. I think an A-line skirt silhouette is going to work on everybody. A, a regular A-line skirt is going to work for everybody. But I think a flowier A-line skirt looks better than a stiffer A-line skirt. I've said this many times. Leather A-line skirt or denim A-line skirt can be hard to wear. That said, you if you get the length right and you get it, you know, fitted through the hips, bum, and thighs, I've, or hips, bum, and waist, I've said this before, um, it's going to be a lot more flattering and it's, it can be a really, really cute look. So really comes down to the length. The maxi denim skirts are so hard they're so hard if you want to try them try them just send me a picture i'd love to see it i this is a trend i'm going to skip because i know it's just going to be way too much on me this pair is the it's from Ref, uh, this denim maxi sorry it's from reformation it's one of my favorite brands um it does have that extreme slit up the front which will make it balance it all the extra fabric a little bit more but it, i just think a denim maxi like that is is really kind of hard to wear um here's one from zara another denim maxi this one is kind of like split in the front again an attempt at flattery right but i feel like there are more easy to style options my goal is to, to help you make decisions and buy things that are going to be really easy to work with in your wardrobe and not that require you to contort yourself and and style yourself in a completely different way just to just to get dressed for the day, right? So that's kind of my, my take on that. Now I have two options here that I think are really, really flattering. This one I think is from the from Rails. I love this one. This is an A-line skirt, but it hits at a good length. It's nice and fitted through the, through the hips and waist. I just think it's a beautiful denim skirt. And this might convert me to trying a denim skirt. Like a style like that, I really, really like. Um, this one from Mother is similar, I love this one. So this is a denim A-line skirt, but it fits well and it's really flattering. It fits to the waist, it's just a good length. It checks all of the boxes. If you wanna go with one of the really um, oversized split front or high slit um, denim maxi skirts, go for it. But for me, I think these are gonna be a lot more wearable, a lot easier to style, and you're probably going to still like them again next year. So. That was a lot. I knew it was going to be a lot. Denim is, is denim and it's a big category this year. A big category. Like I said, denim on denim with denim accessories. Uh, we can't get enough of it this season. And I kind of wanted to talk you through how the different body types can wear denim. So, I, you know, as always, body type and flattery really comes down to filling in the gaps. If you've got you know, a, a strong upper body, then adding volume at the bottom is gonna be flattering. So wide leg, baggy leg, um, jean is gonna be flattering. If you are proportional, then you wanna maintain that proportional with a, a proportional 
um, body type with a boot cut or flare or a bell bottom that mimics your hourglass shape. And then if you have a strong lower body, then you want to um, create a, a clean line at the bottom and add interest to the top with your tops. Um, and by creating a clean line using a straight leg or slightly wide leg silhouette, you are creating proportion in your body. So I hope that that explains um, a little bit about my body typing uh, system and why I'm so passionate about it. I feel like if you lean into some of these suggestions, you can feel more confident in your clothes and like what you see in the mirror a little bit more. That's what I'm here for. If you already would love what you see in the mirror and you wear whatever you want, then that is absolutely your prerogative and I'm cheering you on either way. Um, I hope that you found this fun and helpful. I want to know what you're looking for in terms of jeans. Um, what jeans have you tried this year that you already love? Like I love my H&M wide leg jeans. Like what jeans have you already tried that you love this year? I can't wait to hear more about it. Um, don't forget to like this video if you've liked it. Subscribe so we can hang out more and comment below and i want to hear all your thoughts about denim let's let's continue this conversation in the comments love you guys i'll see you in the next video